We are so close to the next generation of consoles that we can practically smell the melting silicon. But the concern that I and many others have is how much these machines will lighten our wallets or melt our credit cards. While the game consoles themselves are actually priced rather affordably, considering the hardware they're made of, one standout regarding their price is rather distressing. The cost of storage. It does seem somewhat unusual that both of these game consoles would feature such a small amount of storage, with the Xbox Series X having only one terabyte of storage and the PlayStation 5 having even less than that. But don't worry about that. Both consoles feature expandable storage options, with a proprietary port on the Xbox and a standard PCIe 4.0 NVMe slot on the PlayStation 5. Still, these options are going to be expensive, costing at least 200 US dollars for either option. Given that the games on the previous generation have ballooned in size, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the PC at least having an install size of 250 gigabytes alone, how can we be expected to live with the meager storage offerings Microsoft and Sony have in their consoles if the games are going to be so huge? If next generation games are going to be 250 gigabytes, we could, at best, store three games on our consoles at once. Do we have to pay out for additional storage? Well, don't freak out. At least not yet. Or not to the level you are freaking out now. The reality is that 250 gigabyte games are not going to be the standard, for reasons I'm going to lay out in this video. First thing is first. That Call of Duty install is for the PC not the consoles. On PCs, developers have to take into account the fact that their customers may be playing their games on potentially thousands of different hardware configurations. While not quite as daunting as that sounds, it does mean that the performance characteristics of Call of Duty on your computer will likely be different than the same game played on my computer. In order to ensure that we are both able to play the game, the developers have to include a number of different, somewhat redundant, pieces of data that serve the same purpose. Take a look at this image. We have Tom Servo doing stand-up. Let's say my PC is a piece of crap and is only capable of playing the game at the level you are looking at here. Your PC is better than mine because you paid more money for it than I paid for my car. Because yours is better, it can look like this. The big difference here is that the brick texture behind Tom is a higher resolution. My graphics card simply doesn't have the GPU memory to display that, while yours can. The problem for the developer is that, well, they don't know what PC you're playing it on. Maybe you can use the higher res texture, maybe you can't. So the install of the game has to have both textures stored, just in case. That balloons the size of the install. Consoles are a different story. Every PlayStation 5 has the exact same performance characteristics, and there are only two variants of the Xbox series. All of the additional data for different hardware configurations are unnecessary and can simply be left out of the install. But that isn't the whole story. The fact is that higher resolution textures do take up more space than lower resolution textures. The same goes for higher resolution pre-rendered video files, sound files, model geometry, and so on. So increases in these files will bloat the size of your game installs compared to the last generation of consoles. Well, there are other efficiencies the new generation offers which can help mitigate that issue to a degree. The biggest improvement comes in the form of data compression, which can more efficiently store information in the small footprint of your SSD, but the form I want to detail here comes from another feature of the solid state drive, the lack of a seek time when looking up data. Mechanical hard drives involve a spinning disk called a platter, with a read-write head moving across the disk to access data, or write files to the disk. The read speed of old school hard drives was indeed slow, maxing out at about 100 megabytes per second, compared to the 9 gigabyte per second peak speed of the PlayStation 5 SSD. That is a speed increase of about 90 times. But another difference that doesn't get press headlines comes from the inefficiency of the seek time of the old mechanical hard drive technology. See, the read-write head actually has to move in order to find the data on the disk. The time it takes to do this is called seek time. Modern hard disks manage this time in about 9 milliseconds. Looking back at our picture of Tom Servo, we have two pieces of information we need to load here the model for Tom, and the model for the brick background. 
Assuming both models include all necessary texture and shader information, we can make an easy assumption that the model for Tom Servo is about 10 megabytes, while the model for the brick background is about 1 megabyte. Not much data here, so this should be an easy load for our hard drive. Assuming a 100 megabyte read speed, the background will load in about 9.53 milliseconds, and the model for Tom will load in 95.3 milliseconds, totaling 104.83 milliseconds. That's over a tenth of a second, but we still need the factor in the seek time. You will spend about 9 milliseconds seeking the data for the read of the each file, so 9 milliseconds for the brick wall, then 9 milliseconds for Tom Servo on the disk. We are now looking at 122.83 milliseconds to load the two files. Combine these two times with all of the other things we need to load in the game, and the times really start to add up. So what do you do about it? Well, you can cluster the data, the brick wall, and Tom Servo models into the same cluster of data. That will cut 9 milliseconds off of time to read, speeding us up a bit. But there's a problem with that. What happens if Tom Servo or the brick wall have to appear in multiple parts of the game? What if they don't always appear together? You still have to seek and find them every time unless you place a copy of them in the data of every level they appear in. This keeps loading times down, but also means they have bloated the install size of your game by placing the same data in dozens of different locations. 10 megabytes isn't much, but if used a dozen times, that 10 megabytes can turn into 120 megabytes, which is quite a bit larger. How did the new consoles fix this issue? Well, by eliminating the hard drives in favor of solid state drives, we have completely eliminated seek times. That 18 milliseconds of seek time we saw between the two files is reduced to zero milliseconds. We no longer need to duplicate data to avoid seek time, because seek time no longer exists. PCs have indeed been using solid state drives for a decade now, but game developers have never really been in a position to assume that all, games, all gamers are going to use them. Many PCs still have mechanical hard drives or low-performance solid-state drives. The PS5 and the X series have standardized their hardware, allowing developers to set the new standard and how they store their data. Those new standards would be more efficient, and more efficiency is better for everyone involved. That isn't to say that game install sizes won't increase in size. In fact, they almost certainly will, compared to the last generation. They just won't to the extent that you're probably thinking they will. Well, if you happen to have stuck through this entire video, thank you for watching. Might do some more of these in the future if I can think of another topic. Again, thanks for watching.